What is up guys it's the real deal welcome back to the channel guys we are going to be looking at the new pack that is going to be dropping in pokemon pocket and yeah but just before we do that i want to talk about the data that was mine so i've already dropped a video on this but the one thing that's really really important about us is they are getting the dates right so they got the venusaur date correct they got the bulbasaur and magnemite uh, wonder pick event correct and they also got the genetic apex sp emblem event correct as well however with the a1a um deck they did say the 16th of december they were one day out i think we can let them off on that one but yeah so it's the mystic or the mystical island theme booster pack that's gonna be released we'll watch the trailer in a minute and then also they're saying that trading's gonna be coming in january i've already talked about this but just for those that haven't seen the video it will be limited at first to certain rarities and you can only trade the same level of rarity we probably won't be able to trade ex cards straight away but they have said as time goes on they will sort of release that and you know so you can trade cards with the higher and higher rarity and we get the cards we want and then the most important thing the expansion pack a2 which will be the gen 2 pokemon is coming january 29th I don't know why it's backwards. It should be the 29th of January. It looks like it's January 2029, which is miles away. Uh, but yeah, so because they are getting so much right, I've got a very strong feeling that trading will come. If I was to guess, I think it's going to be around the middle of January, so maybe the 15th, 10th of January. And then the trading will definitely be around the 29th of January. I guess latest might be the 30th of uh, January, but... It's looking good, guys. It's heading in the right direction. Now, let's watch the trailer. I'm going to look at all the new Pokemon that are coming. I believe there's 15 new cards coming, so let's check them all out. All right, guys, let's check out... All right, guys, let's check out the trailer. Um, I'm going to put it on mute, though, so you guys can hear me talking over the top of it. All right, so here we go, guys. Executor, Gyarados, Rapidash. I don't know if these are going to actually be in it. Um... But we'll see in a moment. But there's Mew and Primate. This is just looking so sick. They are really killing it with the artwork. Um, I'm a Gen 1 kid, so I have no idea who these two are at the bottom. Let me know in the comments below. Um, yeah, let's let's keep it going. So Mythical Island, Booster Pack. Even the sleeve is looking sick. All right, they're teasing us. I, I didn't catch any of those. So here it is. This is the big one, Mu EX. And this is looking really solid. So 130 HP, slightly above average. Uh, Sire Shot, only 20 damage for one energy. Kind of sucks, to be honest. Uh, Gnome Hacking. This looks interesting. So choose one of your opponent's active uh, Pokemon attacks and use this as the attack. And it's three energy. That looks pretty crazy. Um, I'm liking it. Like, you know, you could one-shot Mewtwo, Charizard. Um, yeah, really, really strong. Um, the only thing I will say as well is if you play Pokemon TCG Live, this is almost a direct replica of that card, but this is way better than the Mew we've got right now. And yeah, this looks interesting and fresh. I like it. Different mechanics. Oh, Aerodactyl as well, EX. And this card looks so much better than the Aerodactyl that we've got right now. Um, so this one, 140 HP. So that's really, really tanky. Definitely going up to the higher level. Then our ability, Prime Primeval Law. Your opponent cannot play any Pokemon from their hand to evolve their active Pokemon. That is so sick. That would pair up so nicely with Sabrina. You know, you just bring out like Squirtle, Charmander, then they can't do anything. And then we can use Land Crush to one-shot them. This is looking like a really strong card. Um, yeah, I can see Aerodactyl and his fighting type as well, which is one of the best fighting, uh, best Pokemon types in the game. So yeah, I can see them doing a lot of damage. Oh, uh, but we need to evolve them from an egg from, uh, I think it's Amber. So yeah, not, not, it's not basic, but it still looks like a really strong card. Let's, uh, check out some of the other cards. So again, just teasing us, flashing things be <laughs> before our eyes. And I'm going to try and pause it at the end so we can just catch these cards right here. Okay. 
So we've got Taurus, 100 HP, 3 energy for fighting tackle, does 40 damage. If your opponent's active Pokemon is a Pokemon EX, this attack does 80 more damage, 120 damage. Wow. I mean, Taurus just got a massive buff. That looks really solid. That 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 will get work done for you. I can see Taurus going to a lot of decks right now. Um, you know, everyone is always playing EX cards because they are in general just so much stronger. Uh, and in, if Taurus goes down, it's only going to be one point. So yeah, Taurus looks Taurus looks like a beast. Uh, Magma, so 80 HP, Fire Blast, 80 damage for two energy. Discards both energy though, so it kind of looks like a weaker version of Nine Tails. Nine Tails obviously has 10 more HP and 10 more damage. Only discards one energy. I don't like the fact that it does two energy. That kind of that sucks a little bit. Um, if it was one energy, I'd be kind of okay with it. But I could definitely see Magmar getting some play, especially in like a Moltres Charizard deck. So there's definitely potential for this one. And Execute, so 50 HP. And then we've got Growth Spurt. One energy takes a... Uh, Grass energy from your energy zone and attaches it to this Pokemon. They must be bringing out like a new executor because at the moment executor needs one energy to get the job done. So that makes no sense. So they're definitely doing something with that. And they've got a new card as well, but we'll come back to that one. Then we've got Molul, who does well 60 HP, RAM 20 damage, doesn't really look like much. Larvesta. Um two energy for 30 damage for combustion kind of looks weak but nice and tanky uh, um 80 hp civi um 70 hp vine whip two energy to do 40 damage basically like sort of the same as like a bulbasaur and then we've got delmias which is um 100 hp grass type even though it's underwater interesting i do like the look of this card though like a an anchor pokemon so they do energy whip so 20 plus damage if this pokemon has at least three extra leaf energy attached this attack does 70 more damage so 90 damage for four energy cards how are you going to do that i i just that unless there's like a new card dropping or something that's going to be really hard to set up just doesn't seem like you could get it to work oh and we can see blue so let's let's rewind so blue, new support trainer. Um, during your opponent's next turn, all of your Pokemon take 10 less damage from attacks from your opponent's Pokemon. That looks really strong. It's like a reverse Giovanni. Um, and yeah, this is like a really strong defensive card. That can definitely be like the difference between life and death. I can see blue getting a lot of play. So that looks like a solid card. Um, I've also got some, we're going to look at, um, we're going to go onto a website now and just look at some of the other elite cards coming out. All right, so let's just go over these. I think there's some we've already seen, but here are two. So there's uh, Vaporeon and it is saying, so 120 HP looks pretty tasty. Ability Washout. As often as you like during your turn, you may move a water energy from one of your bench Pokemon to your active Pokemon. And Wave Splash does 60 damage. And it's three energy. I guess because we're moving energy around, kind of makes sense. Um, I feel like we probably have to play test this one to get a real feel of how good it is and stuff. But um, the artwork again, just this is on another level. This is a beautiful card. Beautiful. And then who have we got here? D, D Denny. So I knew there was Pichu. But who the heck is this? Uh, yeah, never seen this guy before. So 60 HP, mega cute though. Um, and like, I'm getting Mickey Mouse vibes. Um, so we've got Thundershock for one energy doing 10 damage. Flip a coin. If heads, your opponent's active Pokemon is now paralyzed. Paralyzed is one of the strongest um, ability. Well, I don't know. What do you call it? It's not an ability, but it's something. But whatever it is, like sleep, paralyzed, poison, I think paralyzed is the strongest one. Your Pokemon can't retreat. They basically can't do nothing. And it is so strong. So actually, that is a really sweet move. But yeah, sorry guys, I'm like just brain dead at the moment. Let me know in the comments below, what is paralyzed? It's not an ability, it is a something or other. And then already looked at these cards. 
Marshadow. This is a, a pretty tasty looking card as well. Kind of reminds me of like Gengar and uh, like Ghastly. So 80 HP, pretty low. It's a fighting type though. Revenge, 40 plus for two energy. If any of your Pokemon were knocked out by damage from an attack during your opponent's last turn, this, oh, it's 100 damage. That is a really nice counter card. I am digging this. Fighting Pokemon are going to be getting a massive buff uh, when this pack drops on the 17th. Crazy good. And then they've got two sneaky cards here. Looks like they've only got two bits of it. So it looks like they're going to be dropping a new Pikachu card. Can't see all of it. But 60 HP. And it looks like we don't know how much energy it's going to be. It's probably going to be two energy uh, or maybe one. And then it's going to do 10, 10 damage. And it depends on how many bench Pokemon we've got. Going to have to guess on that one, guys. No idea. So 10. Yeah, we don't know about that one. Centaurus Leaf. Another support trainer. During this turn, the retreat cost of your active Pokemon is two less. Wow. That is like a buffed version of um, Speed X or X Speed even. The only problem with this though is that with Leaf Pokemon, or with, sorry, with Leaf, with supporters, if you use a supporter, you can't use other supporters. So you couldn't pair this up with Sabrina or Giovanni. If you use Leaf, you won't be able to do other stuff. So that kind of sucks. So I still like X Speed because you could use two X Speeds to do, and then I could still like drop Professor Oak or Misty or whatever I need. So it's kind of good, but kind of bad at the same time. But, you know, sometimes you don't get a feel for a card until you do it. Uh, but yeah, this has been like a real deep dive into the, I wasn't expecting that, but this is a real deep dive into the new Pokemon they're going to drop 17th. Uh, yeah. And I cannot wait for this. You, you know, you guys let me know in the comments below. Does anyone know how many new Pokemon are come in? Do you guys have any predictions? Let me know in the comments below. I love to hear your thoughts and opinion. Thanks for watching, guys. Please leave me a cheeky thumbs up. Make sure you smash, smash, smash that subscribe. And I'll see you all in a video soon. Peace.